Hi, welcome to Asobi Sport Family Fitness. I'm going to show you a nice series that helps rebuild the deep pelvic floor on the reformer. We're going to start with bridges and then go to strap work and then finish with the sideline series. The spring setting is always adjustable. I would suggest starting with two reds and a blue for the bridges, a red and a blue for the strap work, and a blue spring for your sideline series. If you're starting with two reds and a blue, you're going to lie down, make sure the headrest is flat for the bridges. And I'm going to show you a nice choreography, so I'm going to um, quickly go through each exercise so you know what comes next. You're going to lie down, put your feet on the foot bar, find your neutral spine, you inhale to get ready, you exhale, you're going to peel your spine up off the mat, you inhale to hold, and you exhale to tuck back under re-imprinting your spine and returning back to neutral. You can do five of these. You inhale to get ready. You exhale. You inhale to hold. And you exhale to tuck back under. Your goal is to keep the carriage in, so you do not want to let the carriage slowly drift out, out, out. You want to keep it in for the first set of bridges. On the fifth bridge, that's when you are going to push the carriage out and in, out, and in. You do five of these, and then you inhale, hold, trying to open up the hips even more, and you exhale to tuck all the way under. So that's the bridging sequence. You can now move on to strap work. Just make sure you change your spring settings. You're going to remove a red so that you're on one red and one blue. You lie back down, take your straps, you're going to extend the carriage, put one foot in, and then put the other foot in. Now for the strap work, you want to make sure that you are in neutral spine. You can drape an ankle weight across your tummy or a sandbag across your tummy. You can also put a ball between your feet. You inhale to get ready, you exhale to press down. Now your range of motion will be determined by your hamstring flexibility as well as your strength through your tummy to make sure that you maintain neutral spine. So you're going to do between five or 10 hip extensions in parallel position. The next position is turned out like a little duck. You're gonna have your feet turned out. You can either be pointed or flexed as long as you're not going to lose those straps. You inhale to get ready. You exhale to kick down. You inhale to get ready. You exhale to kick down. Just make sure you're exhaling as you kick down. You're thinking belly button to spine. Then the next position are toes turned in. That means you're internally rotating your hips, pulling your heels apart. Hold that ball or hold your toes together. You inhale to get ready. You exhale to kick down. You can go for five or ten of these in this internal hip position, which is sometimes referred to as pigeon in Pilates. Then you can move on to a frog kick. So you inhale, you exhale. After you do a set of frog kicks, then you're going to do leg circles. Feet come up, then they come down and around. And start off with smaller circles where you truly feel in control of the ropes. And slowly but surely, you get bigger and bigger. After you do a set in that direction, then you're going to do a set in the other direction. Notice that feet and hips are parallel. Then they come out here. Externally rotate your hips and really bring your heels together first, maintaining external hip rotation, then come back into parallel. So you come up and around, then you exhale as you pull your feet together. Now if you have any uh, instability in your pubic synthesis, especially shortly after delivery, you want to be very, very careful with adduction here. And I would really strongly recommend starting with very, very small circles, which just look a little bit like this. Just beginning to wake up the deep pelvic floor. But as you regain your stability and your strength and start to tie in the beautiful balance between the transverse abdominis, the deep pelvic floor, as well as the hamstrings and glutes, 
everything begins to stabilize the pelvis and then you truly can get your full range of motion and increase hip strength as well as hip flexibility. So that's your strap work. Once you, after you finish your strap work, you're going to go ahead and move into the side lying series. So I've just removed a red spring. I'm now on one blue spring. I'm going to lie down with my head either on the shoulder rest itself with a pillow or on the headrest. For the headrest, just make sure it's as high as it can be. And then I like to put pillows underneath so it's not um, making my neck feel uncomfortable in any way. So I put my head back here, but in either position, you want to make sure that your hips are as pulled back, still on the bed, but up toward the edge of the frame. Then you're going to take your bottom foot and extend the carriage and put your top foot in the strap. You want your foot the same height as your hip for the entire exercise. You're going to um, now put all the weight into your top leg and bend your bottom leg. This series is a straight leg. Again, trying to keep your leg parallel with the floor, whether your hip is in extension or in flexion. You're going to do a set of 10 like this, just really focusing on stabilizing the trunk. So no rotation and no bending side to side. You're just thinking belly buttons to spine as you exhale. You inhale to bring the toe up, you exhale to kick it back. Then you're going to inhale and exhale to bend and straighten your leg. Inhale and exhale. Now notice you can take this hand to either put on your tummy to remind your TAs to work, or you can put it right on your hip to remind your body that it needs to have stacked hips so you're not rolling your hips forward or backward, or you can put it right on your glutes where your hamstring meets your buttocks and you're really just thinking, my goodness, I need to work those hip extensors so that you can lengthen the hip flexors. So we want to lengthen the hip flexors by strengthening back here the posterior muscles that extend our hip. After a set of 10 of the bent leg, then you can go into hip circles. Now the hip circles are pretty far back. Again, you're not changing the orientation of your spine or your pelvis. You're keeping it really still, just isolating the hip joint itself. You do 10 in one direction and 10 in the other. After you finish the side lying series, then you're going to come in and plant this foot on the bed itself and above the knee and go ahead and come into a nice piriformis stretch which just helps open up the hip. So you're going to hold this for about three to five deep breaths. And after you finish that side, then you're going to go ahead and take your foot out of the strap, flip over to the other side and continue the side lying series on the other side. So thank you so much for watching Asobi Sport and have fun working on the reformer and rebuilding your strength in your deep pelvic floor.